and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. We are here in uh, Upper Guck still. And uh, today what our, go our goal is to get over here and uh, kill the Shin Lord. I want a ghoul bane. Uh, that's the whole point of this whole entire exercise. Uh, we're currently getting double experience during this Labor Day weekend. And uh, let's go ahead and see how this is going to go. All right. Everybody is uh, turned on. And uh, that one is going to kill us. So, all right. We got everybody here. Uh, I think I have my wizards. There's one wizard. Now, when I started this series, I did not realize that these wizards would, like, nuke through walls and everything that they do. So, uh, it's a little bit unexpected for me. But, uh, yeah, like, she was fighting the wrong one. <laughs> All right, we just leveled up to 18. Uh, there, we are gonna level fast. Uh, I typically, like, I try to avoid these, uh, these, these holiday weekends, uh, playing characters like this. Uh, but, you know what? We're gonna have fun. And this, th these guys are, you know, they're self-found, so they're, you know, they're already at a disadvantage, uh, when it comes to gear. So, we're gonna just kinda exist with it. I can't see where I'm at. There we go. The map was in the wrong spot. All right. Uh, we don't want to go this way. So we're just going to, you know, fight our way over to the Shin Lord. I'd like to kill him uh, at least once. Get the weapon uh, if he drops it. But uh, we might. We, it just might be a waste of time. Um, I, I, saw, I finally saw all the uh, responses to the last uh, video. No, the, the, not the last one, but the one before that where I was pretty much posing the question, where would I go? And a lot of people said Befallen, and uh, I, I think it'd be kind of wise to explain why I didn't go to, to Befallen, right? <laughs> Jeez, these things are annoying. Uh, Befallen is uh, pretty much, it's a good TLP place, right? It's really good for TLP. You can uh, get a lot of levels there really quick, but about 15, it starts getting really bad. Whereas you can come here to Upper Guck at five, <laughs> maybe lower, and you can stay here for all the way to 30. Uh, on a TOP, you probably get 32, 33 here without much effort. Oh my god, these things are just like stunning me, knocking me out. We already got another level, jeez. So, uh, yeah. This is, I don't, I think this is a 100% experience bonus, because, I mean, we're getting, like, 17% per, or 16 there. I mean, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, so we're just going to keep going. We're, we're going to get to a point where we're undergeared. Uh, I think that was, like, the one of the comments someone left, and uh, on one of the videos is, we're not going to have the gear to move forward, <laughs> and we're going to have to be farming gear, so... Uh, eventually we'll hit that point. When that point is, I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, we're not getting a whole lot of defiant drops here. <laughs> all right, I'm going to pull all these guys and see what happens. We're taking the long way, uh, if you will, to get to uh, the Shin Lord. Uh, by the time we get there, we should be able to fight a level 30 mob. Because yeah, I believe he's 31. If I remember right. Oh, I just realized my uh, mouse, is, my numpad stuff isn't working because I had to turn off the software because, yeah. All right, so I'll have to fix that here after I kill these. Oh, simple plate defiant gloves. There's an upgrade for us. I thought those were gloves around. Let's see, level 20. Nice, and we got double attack and a fine steel weapon we can't use. All right. Uh, give me one second to fix my mouse. All right, I think I got it fixed. <laughs> uh, every once in a while that happens uh, with this uh, Corsair software. It's just not that great. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is go over that way. Uh, I'm going to swim over here. Let's do this page up so uh, page up when you're in uh, third person will make you go up and I did it on uh, 
did it on these guys, but I need to uh, fix their camera to be uh, correct. All right, so what we're going to do here is, oh, we went the wrong way. We need to go over here. Uh, they go down this one. They should be able to just make it across. Jump down here. Make sure everybody's here. All right. So we got three. We should be able to snare these ones. Of course, the, the wizards are just going to be annoying in this dungeon area. She's just going to take a mob and she's going to kill it herself. And you know what? That's okay. That is okay. I don't even know who took all those ones. <laughs> I can't, I have no taunting, I have nothing right now that can be uh, any kind of use to anyone. Because uh, they're just, they're one-shotting everything, right? So, it's just ridiculous. This one up here. Okay, oh, dungeon rot infected. There we go, 21. Uh, maybe this was a mistake, but you know what? That's just how the, ser the servers work, right? Live servers, you get experience bonuses. TLPs, you get experience bonuses. And they are crazy. All right, let's keep going here. Conveniently, we're the only people here in uh, in the zone, so it's not going to be extremely. Uh, I don't have to worry about competition. All right, I guess they just <laughs> killed that guy before he could do anything. Uh, crystallized Dew, I think that's one of the things. Oh, Fine Steel Scimitar, uh, we want that. I think I can use that one. And just throw that off on her. Now, so we have, uh, got some gear upgrades here. Gloomy Deep to Simple Defiant, we'll take that. And Fine Steel Scimitar. Um, it's actually not an upgrade over this Gloom Steel Axe. Uh, I, I go off ratio. Uh, I mean, it might be better, but I'm just going off the ratio. Uh, we need to redo Spirit of Wolf real quick. <laughs> I'm not even concerned about other buffs at the moment. It's just like, why bother? <laughs> uh, it's, it's just so ridiculous. This room here might be a challenge though. Um, because of the sheer amount of mobs that can be inside this room. Along with the priests. They all heal. They all run. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we got... The priest is up. We got everything here. Alright, we're just gonna... Go at it here. These are all red, so this will be fun. Alright, we're gonna pull back down here. Let's kill the priest first. Because uh, he is... He's gonna be a pain because he heals right uh, we're gonna go over here we're gonna switch to burn AoE on the mercenaries I don't know if that'll actually make any kind of difference but we'll see oh yeah they're AoEing everything down now oh my gosh it's just ridiculous but this guy's gonna be a pain just because he does heal right as you can see we don't have Near enough DPS to uh, to handle that. And I'm gonna nuke with the uh, Enchanter and the Druid, along with everything else, just to uh, kind of help out with that. Uh, let me actually switch them back to normal burn. I think I need them to single target burn this one down real quick. Uh, eventually he'll run out of mana, right? Like, uh, you can see he's already not able to keep that, you know, close up of it. Right, but 26%, jeez. Oh, man. I hope I, hopefully I didn't ruin this. Like, we still have, like, what, 100 and... 100 levels to go. I mean, we're not really ruining anything, I don't think. As you, if you remember in any of my other series, even with the ones I, I gear them up to the to their teeth, like these levels just go so fast on a live server. 
and they can go this fast on uh, on TLPs too. I've I've power leveled my characters on TLPs that are fast as fast as this, and faster sometimes because you can you can really cheese it. <laughs> so like I'm not concerned at all. Oh, find steel morning star. We'll roll on that. Simple defiant leather sleeves. Congratulations, Lava Sue. You might get uh, might have an upgrade there. And let's see, that goes to her. Those are just odds. Uh, I think we looked at that one of the episodes. Let's see here. Can you snare him? Because he's going to run and he's a red. Uh, and I'm rooted. Like, I can't do anything, right? I can only direct them. <laughs> I can crappily direct them. All right. Let's just keep nuking this guy. And I'm unrooted. There we go. Perfect. And I'm rooted again. I don't even know what rooted me. Like, what? <laughs> Jeez. Like, the wizards are tanking everything. I don't know what's going on here, but... Whatever. So we are, uh, 22 now. It's going pretty quick. Um... I have uh, two suggested level places uh, we're going to try after this. We might have, uh, we might out level them. That's something I'm actually concerned about right now. But uh, my intention right now is to try and get a ghoul bane or at least make an attempt at it. Like, you know, I'm not going to sit there and camp it because it is painful. And by the time we level up, we could just go kill the guy that drops at 100% of the time uh, in the high elf city. So. You know, if he's up when we get there, you know, definitely it's going to be a nice, a nice part of the video. Uh, but if he's not up and we, you know, we don't get him, you know, it is what it is. I think we leveled. <laughs> there we go. 23. Uh, more junk. All right. Let's keep going here. So where are we at now? We're right here. We need to keep going down this way, and we'll eventually get there. Um, and this will pretty much hit almost every camp in the upper, you know, upper cuck here, right? Cloth bolt. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> so we're just going to keep uh, going this direction. Let's just kind of grab this one. But... I think any combination of characters would have the same experience here. Like the the benefit I have is I have snare for some of these, but uh, for the most part, no, they're like not like I can't snare the red ones. So let's turn the map. There we go. Go and ten percent. So the the experience is starting to drop. Clearly. Uh, there is an experience bonus just for being in this zone along with the event. Like, uh, all dungeons have higher higher uh, zone experience modifiers, the ZEMs, than uh, outdoor, outdoor zones. Uh, so I kind of, like, we didn't attack that, I don't, I guess. So, like, we didn't get any uh, real experience for that. We got pointing, so. Bridge gets that one. Here he has. All right, perfect. And you know, it's just—it is what it is, right? All right, these things here are the most annoying things in the world, but we're gonna kill them anyway. Ah, uh, they heal, they snare, they run—just <laughs> all around terrible mobs. Ah, uh, but we're gonna make really short work of them. And we got a fungus mutant over there. I think that's the named one. All right. Well, he, he's coming to play the game here. Uh, he caught him. No, he is not a named one. There is a. I think there's a named one here, but I have no idea where that guy went. Cause I know. I think he drops a, uh, a fungus, uh, a piece of fungus thing, so you can make the uh, paw of a polo ring, if I recall correctly been a while i have uh i have parts of it and uh characters here but i've never like ha gotten everything to or put in the effort to like finish it so 
There we go. Jeez. And we're still snared, right? So it's kind of just going a little slow here. Now these are starting to turn light blue um, because this is a lower level area. Um, go back to the map here in a second. Um, if we zoom out to everything, right? This is a higher level area. This is a higher level area. This is a lower level area. And then this is a higher level area. Like you saw the mouse where I was circling all those. Right, that's kind of how the zone works. There's just a little bit of, you know, in intertwined levelness there. Uh, with the Shin Lord being the highest level area in the zone. And probably the best, uh, the best camp for uh, anyone higher level. Uh, looks like we lost Snare. I'm going to fix that real quick again. Get her. Get... Him and her. Do I have enough mana? I don't. Uh, I believe we picked up Breeze, so let's go ahead and uh, get that going. Typically, I probably wouldn't even waste my time with some of these, but. Spirit of Wolf is important to me. Set her down for a second. Uh, what do we get here? Mesh armbands. So, Wabasu got simple defiant armbands, which we can replace right here. And these were significantly better. Uh, I mean, 10 wisdom on a you know level five item. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So that'll give us a little bit more mana uh, overall. And it gives us enough to cast Spirit Wolf. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so we got these two Tawn Warriors right here at the entrance. Grab them. Go like this. Get stunned because we don't have the AA yet. And we are not the Master Race Ogre. Ogre is uh, the best <laughs> for everything. Unless you're playing on live. And then uh, at level 70, everybody can get stun resistance like an Ogre. Uh, but until level 70, Ogre is my favorite tank uh if you remember from the sons of thule series it was quite painful going all the way to 70 as an ixar shadow knight uh it was just ridiculous how much we got stunned <laughs> it's just like it's it's crazy and that's some people it doesn't bother uh it bothers me a great deal uh i actually hate being stunned at all I don't know, it just throws me out of my, out of the flow of, you know, interacting with the world. There we go. All right, everybody's dead. You see, there's lots of mobs here. They're all, at this point, uh, we've leveled up high enough that we don't have to worry too much about them. There we go. Put that there. Two more. Fine steel, great staff. How much room do we have in our bags? We are we're running low, so I'm gonna. I meant to give myself the trade skill, uh, the trade skill bags. Uh, the trade skill bags will allow us to carry more uh, more stuff. Because a lot of these things are marked as trade skill items. Twenty five is uh, a very nice number. And we are now level 25. There we go. Come on. But these wizards are uh, definitely uh, helping us out a lot here. All right. Got the achievement for frog deaths. Jeez. All right, we're going to go in here. This is the uh, Shin Lord room right here. Ah, uh, he is not up, unfortunately, so... I'm just gonna stay around here. Ah, uh, but their mobs in this room are red, and even con, so... I mean, stay here for a little while. Come on. Got him. Oh my gosh, who's healing him? One of the shamans, I guess. That's... Uh, 
More junk. Alright, there's another one right here. <laughs> we can't hit. It didn't hit me for 64. Uh, we got a thousand hit points, so you know that that's not too bad, right? Uh, consider we haven't we haven't done the mounts or anything like that yet. Uh, I think as a compromise on the mounts, I think when we hit, let's say 60, I'll claim the House of Thule mount, uh, which is like I think the lowest tier mount. That way, I'm just not wasting like 20,000 platinum on a crappy tier one horse. Uh, I think that's a fair. I think it's a fair trade. Unless there's another mount I can get, I can find around that level 60 area. I just need something so these guys are sitting uh, without uh, without uh, actually sitting. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm getting skill up, skill up, skill up, but I can't hit them at all. Enchanter, Enchanter pets even go in here. That's nice. And he's just ping ponging between the two wizards. It's hilarious. All right, help him. And let's try another snare, maybe. No. He is Tash, but you know, he's thirty-four. We are twenty-five, so he's still got some levels on us. And he's uh, probably one of the higher level mobs in the entire zone, honestly. There we go. Come on. There we go. And we got another level. Level 26, and we got Ornate Defiant Plate Gauntlets. Perfect for us. As a, as a tank. So let's take a look at these uh, compared to simple. Uh, so massive AC increase, uh, massive resist increase, massive stat increase, uh, almost 30 hit points, give or take. I mean, overall, fantastic stuff. Required level 26, uh, re recommended level 40. So these are going to be on our hands for quite a while. Let's go and pop those on right now since we just hit 26. All right, and they are a nice green color. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, bring, all right, you just stop. I don't know why you didn't follow. All right, you're gonna sit in here too. <laughs> all right, they're gonna stay here. I'm gonna mark myself as polar and they're just gonna stay here. I, I want to kill one Shin Lord at least before we leave, but you never know. Uh, these, the cool thing about these wizards is they can nuke through walls because they cheat. And uh, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about this. But I'm just going to go around and grab all the rest of the mobs around here. I'm just going to grab them all, I think. And they'll just get nuked down or I'll get, or the healer will heal me. And they'll just go. I don't really... They're all blue at this point, I think, now, at 26. So we shouldn't have much to worry about here. There's one right there. Yeah, the Shin Warriors are blue. All right, we'll grab all these. We'll bring them in here. And they're all going to stop right there. All right. All right, we're going to snare this one. And we'll just start killing them. And then... Uh, I feel like I should wait for respawn and get another get another cycle, right? But I don't know. I'm not. We could go somewhere else. Like I have, uh, I have a list of things, other places I want to go, and I just haven't decided how I want to handle that yet. Come on. Uh, Zorgo sent me some really good uh, spots that I want to go try out, but I might have already leveled them just this that one episode. So we'll see. All right, everything over there is dead. I'm gonna tell them to sit 
So what we're gonna do, since we're the only person here still, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna train ours. Is this way, right? Let's see if we can find anything up here while we're waiting for a respawn. Yeah, there's some tons up there. Got them. Can I get you guys too? Hey guys, come on down. Alright, that should be four. I don't know what is there anything in there? Uh, it hasn't respawned yet. Now, pulling in this area, right, is a little tricky. You have to kind of like babysit the pull, if you will. So we got two, three. The shaman's a little slow, so we're just gonna line of sight him, and then line of sight him again, and then line of sight him again. There we go. And we'll do it right here. The wizards will start attacking probably as soon as they see one, if not already. Yeah, they're already nuking, and they positioned themselves correctly, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy. One. And two. Still getting 8% per kill on blue, which is, you know, crazy, right? Now that shaman's light blue. There we go. And let's see if we can snare this guy. Oh, we got him. And 27. And we got a rough defiant bracer. Uh, congrats, Lovasu Lo here. And go over to her. Uh, let's sit everybody down here. Um, so she only has one bracer on now, so we can pop this one on right here. Rough Defiant. And I swear that looks green to me, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we got a few seconds here while we're waiting. Let's see what spells I bought. Charm Animal. Um, Terrorize Animal. Ring of Surefall Glade. Ring of Karana. All right, nothing useful. About the Enchanter. Uh, Mass Enchant Electrum. Enchant Electrum. Invis Undead. A new pet. Uh, these are for the Lost Dungeons and Orath stuff. L Illusion Tree. Quickness. And Identify. Alright, let's go ahead and put Quickness on our bar. I'm not going to probably cast it because... Reasons. Because <laughs> it's terrible. Uh... And especially at this level, it's only going to last like five minutes. All right, so you got some buffs, some spells. All right, we're going to... I'm going to wait for respawn. Uh, I think I got a few more minutes that I can do in this video before I hit that, that magic 30-minute mark. Uh, I'm going to do that, and then uh, hopefully we get a Shen Lord. All right, let's go out and see. It looks like we got some respawn here. Uh, I'll show it here in a second. I made a macro for uh, my stun. So it's just cast one, cast two, cast one, cast two, cast one. Uh, we did pick up a new stun to desist. Uh, so cease and desist. <laughs> so uh, We do have that now. So it is uh, going to be in the rotation of stuns. Just so I have like one and then the other. It's a little bit longer cast time, but... I mean, it's not a big deal, right? Alright, let's roll those out. So we got two there, two here. Let's just grab them all. Uh, they're going to start being, uh, you know, light blue, blue. So eventually these, these are going to stop yielding experience. But the beauty of this is they drop between two gold, five gold, you know, they drop, <laughs> they drop coin. And fighting mobs that drop coin is great. Uh... One, because we get coin, pays for the mercenaries. Two, we get coin, pays for the spells. Three, uh, coin is great, buys everything we need. Like, uh, because we're gonna have to buy a lot of spells, especially for the druid. She has a whole different, like, bunch of spells that we're gonna have to pick up, so. Definitely, uh, uh, worth doing, so. And we also have a chance at anywhere between simple and ornate defiant gear here. Uh, and that is a real, the real thing <laughs> like that is the kind of gear we're gonna need 
uh, as we start going through all these levels and stuff. There we go. Just kind of, you know, checking the loot. A lot of this stuff is just junk I don't care about. Um, but what do we got? We got a Shin Warrior. So the room is popping now. So hopefully the one that spawns right here uh, is uh, going to be a Shin Lord. I mean, we're going to level here in one second, but I think this will like bottom out about 30, 35. And we'll stop getting experience here. But uh, I don't know 100% where that's going to be. Uh, especially with this bonus, because the light blues will keep giving experience forever and ever. So this guy should pop here momentarily. I don't think it took us that long to clear the room, so... All right, we got a Shin Knight, not a Shin Lord, unfortunately. So, uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. But I, I, I just don't, I can't see myself spending more time here, right? Um, I am, it's, I'm so torn right now. <laughs> like, do I stay and get the sword, or, you know, do I go somewhere else? You know, that's, that's the big question. And,. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what would be the best uh, choice. Uh, if I got a defiant weapon, it would probably have a better ratio than uh, than uh, the uh, than the uh, ghoul bane. The ghoul bane is like a 0.4 ratio, but it procs like a hundred and uh, 150 damage towards undead, uh, which is crazy. Uh, why are you not coming? Come on. Oh, you're not even, you're not even going to yield experience. So it's like one of those real hard choices, right? And we could quest Ghoulbane uh, at this level, but that quest is annoying. <laughs> I did it before. Uh, it just takes forever. So I don't think that's an option. I mean, we could go kill the guy at uh, like 55 or so, but I don't, I just don't know. There we go. I think that's like everything here. It's almost cleared. I don't know if I want to wait for another spawn. It's like 30 minutes. All right, these aren't spawning fast enough for me. There's a corpse here. <laughs> so someone died here. Wow. Uh, I guess they didn't have a healing mercenary. Alright, we got rooted, and the thing ran. Uh, not much we can do about that. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll stay here for a few more spawns. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be the same thing, right? We're gonna, we're gonna hit probably 30. Um, here, I think. I think that's probably where it's gonna be, right? I think 30 is probably gonna be the, the number we hit. And then, uh, we'll go somewhere else after that. But I'll, I'll just do that. In between episodes and so we're caught up there and if uh i'll keep recording so if we do get a ghoul bane i will pop that in and we can go from there but uh thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day